What's up everyone, welcome back to the Fire Emblem Three Houses Manning Mode Stat Race. I'm Mecha, joined today by the original Raisins. How are you doing today? Doing great, doing great. Thanks for having me on. No problem. Yeah, I know. Here we are. We're in chapter, uh, oh gosh, what is this? Chapter 9? Chapter 9, but we have a lot of monastery to go through first. Because yeah. today we have, I think, three fresh recruitments, maybe two, depending on circumstances. We're going to pick a dancer for the dancer contest and the rest of the playthrough. Uh, Holy. We're going to be doing some saunaing, probably. There will be some eating. Uh, I have done a lot of fishing. You're about to see the results of that. We're going to see a DLC-only quest get completed. And uh, we'll have an interesting conundrum regarding Byleth's faculty training so yeah we have a lot to do and we're probably going to do two explorers today and then have a paralog on the third day of the month i think is the plan and then do that twice because we have two battle points and then we'll finally be actually the in chapter nine but for now yes we're preparing for chapter nine and hopefully getting ready for some uh advanced classes oh boy it's uh it's gonna be raisins do you want to see my fishing results yeah, yeah let's check them so this yeah. was uh chapter nine pistols of fish right so yes <laughs> Yeah, and I believe the way fish fulls of fish works is that every time you fish, instead of like one fish, you get like multiple, and they can be different ones. And I don't like fishing much as a mechanic in three houses. I think it's a waste of time, and if they want you to have this experience, they should just let you have it in a less tedious way, not force you to do something that you're gonna feel bad about fishing, bad about for missing out, fishing out, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but I spent some time fishing. I didn't want to like do max fishing because that's boring. And I want to hit A rank, professor rank. Uh, we're at B plus right now, as you can see on the left of the screen. And, uh, well, this is the fish I got. Let's see? Okay. Here you go. So Holy. Less than I usually get, <laughs> to be I honest. I only fished a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah, a yeah. little bit. Just 55 bullheads. Like, this entire place is empty now. Okay, don't worry. Like, we'll, we'll have we'll have cooks as much as we want. So, turns <laughs> it, out, we should be fine. <laughs> in my defense, in Golly. my defense, you get three at a time if you do it right. Like, if you just get yeah, a red yeah. fish, you, you fish it up, you get three bullheads. That's like, dude, that's 17 times you have this. And this like includes two all to the four, fish right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. I don't know, I feel like I always get three, but maybe it's two to four. I didn't really keep track properly. Yeah, I think it's two to four. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if there's like any distribution where one is more likely than the other, or like, I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I just say it's two to four. Yeah, same. We also got, uh, I got one golden fish doing it, but apparently I saved up some uh, fish that we can sell for gold as well. So we have a bit of extra gold reserve here for a rainy day. There we go. Yeah, Not bad, not bad. And yeah, we can we can cook whatever we want. We can probably eat all the fish meals that we want for the rest of the game, which is good. So I'll try to prioritize fish meals because I don't, still don't know how to reliably get vegetables. There are some new tools out on that website that I've pointed to before. I don't think I linked it to you, Raisins, but I linked it on my community tab. Yeah, there. I saw it on the tab. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Holy. It's, so many. Yeah. So now we can simulate uh, greenhouse results and everything too. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. We can still use the meal finder to get meals, of course. That feels like the most important part. So um today i suppose we should start with uh, one of the most exciting parts which is recruitments mm -hmm. uh i guess first off we could just go and grab uh hilda she's in the room here uh, she requires axes and charm and i think Violet has just enough axe rank to or i have exactly enough charm to get her c rank i think or something or like even c plus it's pretty close like it's it's pretty tight she owns a lot of uh charm it's like a lot of charm right yeah like 30. Yeah. 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 Uh, Hilda, she's over there, I think. Yeah, there she is. It's down there, okay. It's almost time for the ball. Oh my, am I excited? This being a school, we don't have many chances to get dressy. Come here, Hilda. Professor, I saw you looking at me. I know what that look means. You want to add me to your class? Just kidding. But if you did invite me to join, I'd consider it. Gee, I wonder why she's a fan favorite. Oh, invite. Really taken a shine to me i hope i can live up to your expectations i look forward to learning from you yay she's pretty happy i won't lie she's she's really funny she's really funny okay so we got the two recruitments we still have leone on the roster i'm mm -hmm. i'm still in doubt about like whether we should get her now or get her later i feel like if i got her now i don't really have a deployment slot for her or rather she'd was... just be replacing someone else and we keep on pushing it back and back, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, and, but she's supposed to be part of the team. But also, I do kind of want to see her get more defense than Gilbert when recruited in Chapter 12. I think that would be really funny. But yeah, yeah. she also doesn't auto-level, like, authority or anything. So we'd be stuck with, like, some really cringe battalions if we got her, like, Chapter 12, I think. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you still think, uh, it, think it matters? Yeah, she, she'd be E in Chapter 12. You, you can, like, you, you can scramble out of D authority pretty quickly on her if you need. Um, and then you're kind of, like, out of the... The super cringe Batland, you're in D, which is like fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it'll it'll take a while before she's got anything like super good. Probably mm -hmm. something like chapter 
14 or 15 before you end up with a C authority on her. Yeah, which should be unfortunate, but, you know, there's some good D rank battalions we can just give her, I guess. And um, what, what we're looking at, like, what, two levels per chapter that she grows by the shelf, right? Yes, yeah, two, two like, actual level levels, yeah, that she grows yeah. by herself. Yeah, so we'd still have to work. Like, if we get her in chapter 12, it'll be quite a while before she reaches advanced then, because she's not in chapter 13. So in chapter 14, you then have to, like, play a paralog or some kind of catch-up battle kind of thing to mm -hmm. get her to 20, probably, which would be kind of cringe. No, she'll be at chapter, she'll be at level 25. 25? She'd be at level like 28 or something, yeah. In, in chapter 12? Oh, because she auto levels as well, right? Yes. Between 12 but also, and 13. they'll just be like, like, that's just what level they'll be. Like, you can see what level Hilda is right now. I think Hilda's 17. Yeah, something like that. Moment. Yeah, she is. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so in three chapters from now, she'll be that. Or, yeah, if we recruit, oh, uh, gosh, what's her name again? Leonie now. Uh, let me actually check how many time skip auto levels she gets. Mm -hmm. uh, because there is the. A, bu a buddy of mine pointed out, actually, yeah, I liked recruiting sometimes at like. Chapter 9, Chapter 10, just because the time skip auto levels alone get them to advance and like they don't have to do any work. Mm hmm. That's yeah. true. It's a pretty good balance of like weapon levels and auto levels. If they get at least three level levels, I think recruiting now is okay. But if you're not going to field them, you might as well wait one or two more chapters, I feel like, on Leone. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Leone does get three, but yeah. Leone gets three. Okay. So she's already in advance for post time skip purposes anyway. So mm -hmm. maybe we just roll with the auto level and see how she performs at Chapter 12. That does seem like fun. Sure thing. Okay, Leone, you're officially on the team, just not yet. <laughs> in that mm -hmm. case, um, so the other one I had lined up was uh, Cyril. Didn't a buddy of yours mention that uh, Cyril would be like a easy paladin filler or something like that? If you uh, yeah, yeah, it was the uh, it was the same guy. And actually, it was Cyril that we were talking about because Cyril does get three outer levels. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, recruiting him now is like, you know, to to be frank, I don't actually have many like plans for using Cyril right now Same. like he's he's good he's fine but I think he's like past the time but if we recruit him now then yeah you can just like level 20 him and part two and do kind of whatever you want so yeah that's something we can do it would be funny to grab him and see if he can do anything post time skip because again it's, it's really hard to fit all the characters into the roster that we've done I know we said we would be kind of rotating but I have this thing where I use characters a lot and I find them like fun to keep using instead of switching them out yeah. all the time whereas I know that also, for example your play style is like okay I'm swapping characters all the time yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the, I think the difference here is that your character's levels have been, like, insane. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I look at your roster, it's like, Felix is like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, the same thing. I'm like, dude, what? That doesn't help, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't change anything, please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm going to drop yeah, this. No. Give me that. Well, I guess I'll grab him now, just so we can, like, set him to all level things. Again, getting authority levels would be nice. I guess you can, that way, you can see the differences between grabbing a character now and getting him later. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, for oh, sure, for sure. He's the other yeah, he's corridor. The, I don't know what it's called. The The, the room has a name, of course, but I, yeah. don't, I don't actually remember what it's they called. They just call this place the second floor, but I don't think there's like an explicit name for this part. Although I think some of it is like headquarters, maybe? Oh, yeah, this is the, the common, common room. room. Very common for people to be here, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Tomas wouldn't betray the church. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. There's some people in the church who hate people like me who are from Elmira, but Tomas was always real kind. Yeah, I love Tomas. But if he really was Lady Rhea's enemy, well, I'd defend her against anybody, no matter how kind they'd been in the past. I learned all sorts of things, so I can do as much as possible for Lady Rhea. Cleaning, chopping wood, making feed. Oh, and I'm learning the bow and arrow from Shamir. I'm happy to help you out with anything you need done for your class. You betcha. I'm your guy, Professor. Yay. Since, you know, you can't exactly add me to your class or anything. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We can teach you another playthrough. Thank you, Cyril. Welcome. We'll do the reviews yeah, no. at the end once again. We need to take a quick look at him, though. Whenever we get to, like, a battle preps menu, yeah. Yeah, basically. That's when we do them. Oof. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, this is this we'll is not even a serial playthrough. Play Some other time, unfortunately. Yeah, this is not the serial playthrough. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, uh, leaving the only B, I guess what we can do is yeah, we're gonna have to do it in this order. We're gonna select a dancer. <laughs> okay. And before we get to that part, I suppose it would be nice to like go over the candidates that we have. It kind of has to be someone from this roster, or like we'd have to rush a recruit out or something, because mm -hmm. you know you can't turn someone into a dancer until they have been added to your class. And to be a dancer, I believe the charm threshold to win most of the time is 13, all the time is 14. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's just plain old 14. If you have 14, you do it. If you don't, you lose it. Okay. That's uh, 
glad to have that corrected then before I spread misinformation on the internet. So I think we discussed this at the start that a dancer is usually someone that you haven't really trained very much because you they don't need stats to be a good dancer. You just need to be able to move around. There are some like random things that can be factored into your dancer choice, like an additional thing, but they're always kind of minor. The ones I always think of are like Dorothea's ability to use Meteor to use linked attacks from far away without having to be in danger. Um, personal skills can be an impact. Having a riding boon can help you get move plus one a little bit earlier from, I believe, S rank riding, right? Not the, not double S, but just, or not S plus, but just S, right? I yeah, it's either S or it's like A plus. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can high. look it up real quick, but yeah, it, it's it's way out there, but mm -hmm. it, it's something you can do, right? Yeah. So and the last thing I can think of is like pass from like Bernadetta if you have that. That can be an mm -hmm. okay thing to have on a dancer. And we went a little bit back and forth on who to do as a dancer, and I think the candidates we kind of came to from our current roster. Let me just like go over the real quick. Ballot cannot be a dancer. Dimitri cannot be a dancer, I don't believe. Um, or can he be? He can be. He can be, he can okay. Be. He can be. I um, wouldn't do it. But I wouldn't be. do it, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I think uh, Rangor did it for 0% with uh, Dimitri, because I think extra Sword of Void when he's doing Battalion Rast things. I forgot what the reason oh, was. Yeah. That's funny. Um, the do it wouldn't be terrible with the way we've been using him, because he's kind of been in and out, so he has some supports, but uh, he leaves for quite a while, so he wouldn't be ideal. We would have, we would miss our Dancer for quite a while. Felix mm -hmm. combat unit would really want to turn him into Dancer. Ash would be okay, but he's going to miss the Charm Threshold unless we like give him some stat boosters or have trained him a little bit more. Uh, but as is, he's even with the plus five you get from the dancing training that we get, it's still 10 Charm and we need 14, like we said earlier. Um, mm -hmm. Sylvain would be a good one. Uh, he can reach the Threshold pretty easily by just getting plus five. And this is, I don't think this is like quite his base Charm, but it is pretty low. So I think he can mm -hmm. almost always get there. Yeah. So Sylvain would be a, a fine candidate, uh, just in the way we've, we've been using him. I mistakenly thought at one point that Philander would allow me to uh, help anything, but it only helps himself when he's next to a female ally, so that wouldn't do anything. So I think Sylvain would be okay, right? Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, the, yeah? The, the Sylvain, big thing with Sylvain is the support list, right? So, you know, kind of in a similar idea to Dorothea with her Meteor providing linked attacks to people, would be Sylvain with some two or three range weapon providing it. And like, yeah, it's not the same range as Dorothea, but his support list, I think, is better for a current team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he gets a lot of good supports, like all the blue lines, plus uh, I think we had it in our DM somewhere. It was like Dorothea wasn't there. Not that Dorothea is like a super important combat unit or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, did, you say, did you say it was Sedith or something? Uh, Sedith was Ingrid, but Sylvain does get Hilda and Manuela. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Um, Mercedes, I mean, Blue Lion, so same advantages as Sylvain with regards to supports, and can hit the threshold with like one Charm Staff Booster if we needed to, I guess, but not necessarily good or anything. Annette obviously out for rally reasons. I did Dancer Annette on my first Blue Lions playthrough on the channel, and it was not a good idea. Uh, although back then I had no idea what I was doing, so I got away with it. Mm -hmm. uh, Ingrid, pretty good candidate, probably. Uh, already has the Charm Threshold and has all the supports built up and everything. Uh, but if you want to use her as like a real unit, or even if you want to keep like, using her as an adjutant, then dancing doesn't really work with that, because you can't be both an adjutant and a good dancer. You have to choose between those two things. And I would like to have both a dancer and an adjutant, so Ingrid's kind of out, I think. Uh, Dorothea's mm -hmm. mentioned before, I think Meteor is like, it's very far out, like it might be like a chapter, what was, what was the math, it was like chapter 16, chapter 18 kind of thing, but it always sticks out as my mind, it's something that exists, which is better than what mm -hmm. most things have. We would miss out on Rally Charm, I guess, but... I don't think Valley Charm is necessarily super useful in the long term anyway. Um, yeah, we're also still able to field it, so on Monbella. Or, you know, we do just have it as well. Like, just because you have the dancer who is dancing doesn't necessarily mean you can't do the other things. Sometimes, every now and again, the other thing, like, you know, casting a rally or casting a physic or something is better than a dance. Yeah, that's true. Um, Lawrence is kind of whatever, but he would reach the threshold. He just doesn't have any notable <laughs> advantages. Uh, same ish for like Ignatz. Uh, Hilda's kind of cool because she has a good support list. Uh, that she, I mean, the people that we mentioned before that supported Hilda, Hilda also supports back, so she would be able to do that. And uh, Advocate is pretty good. You know, it, mm -hmm. this one actually works on other people, so you just boost someone like Felix or Yuri or whoever with three extra damage when she's adjacent. It's not great for a dancer to be that close to battle all the time, but there are situations where it comes up where positioning is kind of tight and you're allowed to like be able to make use of. Uh, Advocate, so I think Hilda would be pretty cool. Uh, Flane is often cited as a good dancer. I've kind of gone off that wagon because uh, I've had a user as an adjutant giving supports to either Sedeth or Byleth, but an option that any house can use, so not bad. It's just there are other things that you can do already without being a dancer. 
And again, if it, almost anyone can be a good dancer, but not everyone makes a good Ajitant, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is like a fine dancer. I think like the reason it's so often recommended is because I, 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 I typically find new players are like pretty uncreative with Flane anyway, and I know that she reaches the like threshold all the time. Yeah, you know, it's not like you know I could say like oh you're giving up rescue or something, but I look and like they're just casting heal with Flane. It's like they just make her a dancer. So. <laughs> True. Uh, church people cannot be dancers. And then there's the Ashen Wolves. I never really explored seriously the option of making them dancers, but I think for all of them, the purpose of this playthrough is to show them off as the as like what they can do. And dancing is a pretty mm -hmm. unexciting way to do that. So I don't think any of them make particularly great dancers anyway. I don't know if you disagree with me on that, but I feel like making any of them a dancer is just a waste of their potential. I think uh, in this position, I was kind of seriously considering Yuri Dancer for a bit. Yeah, we uh, just about because that. like he keeps on like rotating in and out. He's kind of like just outright worse Felix and Shamirin right now. Uh, not, not that that's bad because Felix and Shamir are both like insane. So you know, like being a worse version of them is still like probably one of our better units. Um, but I, I very oftentimes see his deployment slot getting cut uh, for someone else. So you know, but the thing is, is like, yeah, deploying him as a dancer is that is that like really deploying Yuri? Like, yeah, you're deploying someone with Yuri's face and whatnot. But, <laughs> like, you know, is that is that really deploying Yuri? You know? Yeah. So I wouldn't mind you know holding off and maybe even like. Not having him deployed for this chapter or that chapter, and then redeploying him in when it's appropriate. And wow, look, he's had like some absences, and he's still kicking butt, right? Like, I think that'd be fun. Yeah, it's that for me. And I think a lot of the time we're gonna want to have like really high rank battalions be utilized later on. This might be more mm -hmm. relevant if you don't have like a D rank retribution like we do. Uh, but maybe when it comes to time for like Dance of the Goddess or um, I guess Sacred oh, Shield true. later on, like I think those are kind of perfect for Yuri if he doesn't hold up in combat. And having to like rearrange that to another high authority unit might be problematic because say say Bylet is flying so she can't use those battalions very well or she wants to be a recipient of those. Um, mm -hmm. let's say Felix is like not a very high authority person in the first place and probably doesn't want to cast utility gambits anyway. Um so we just run out of options very fast, I think. Like I guess Ingrid could reach like a high rank authority if we really set her to it, but do we want to do that? Probably not. And I think we just end up in a bit of a scramble to get the high authority battalions assigned to the units that we want to use them with if we don't have Yuri as that flex slot, as it were. So yeah, you're so right. That's And it, I don't think a dancer should be the one that casts like Retribution or Sacred Shield or Stride or anything like that. I think you want to be able to Stride and use a dance on someone if possible, mm -hmm. for example. Not that Stride is yeah, like I'm, particularly I'm, high authority, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, it, it's true. Yeah, I, I'm convinced. I don't want the, I don't want the Yuri dancer anymore. Mm-hmm. It, it, it would probably look glorious, to be fair, and it wouldn't be bad. It's just, we, we want to find, like, the worst units that makes the best dancer, if that makes sense. And yeah, yeah. I think we both landed on the conclusion that it should be Hilda, because Advocate is something no one else has that can still be utilized as a dancer. Um, she has not enough good stats to be great. We're going to talk about Hilda in depth when we're later on uh, in the unit review section, but I don't think she really works as a combat unit right now with the way her... Uh, she only auto levels lances and axes, and while strats are like fine and workable, the D the E authority is like with an authority base is gonna be really annoying to work with. So to bypass, we can bypass those drawbacks with Hilda and have a dancer with like honestly kind of solid durability at this point, with like 44 mm -hmm. HP and 16 AS if she's not using a weapon, and we can make use of Advocate and her support list this way, which seems pretty good to me. So I think Hilda's a choice, but. Um, I think we had some secondary ideas, right? For like Sylvain or Ingrid. Yeah, probably my, my next choice after that would be either Sylvain or Ingrid, just because again, the support list is very good. Uh, so we just have them on the field and they're now capable of providing the support. You know, Hilda's advocate is giving like plus three to some unit, plus three attack to some units. And then Sylvain's support is giving like, you know, plus five to plus seven hit to some units. And it, it, it just kind of depends on which one you want here. The, the more and more I think about it, the more I'm pretty convinced by Hilda. Same. So uh, I guess Hilda's just going to be turning to a dancer right after her recruitment. Yay! Sounds good. Well, she, I mean, she expressed some excitement. <laughs> yeah, sure. She will be into know? it. And I She's think, pretty into it. I think I already accepted the quest from Rhea, but I'm just going to double check it. And I think now I have to like talk to Hilda and tell her that she's going to be the, the dancer. Yes. And the reason I want to do this first is because it also gives me some renown, which we're going to use to get some faculty training or some, um, some st statue renown thing. And then we're going to use that to do some faculty training. So it's kind of set on the order here. Or I wouldn't nice, have nice. a surprise until the last moment. Alright, Hilda. Uh, actually, I've decided you're also going to be a dancer. It's almost <laughs> time for the ball. Oh my, am I excited? This being a school, we don't have many chances to get dressy. Oh, but first, the white heron cup. 
Who will appear on stage, I wonder? Yes. Great. Yes. Now that I'm in the spotlight, I'll do anything to win. Okay. I think I like missed or almost missed a dance from my first playthrough because it's kind of like a completely step by step. I think I have to talk to Manuela to do the charm threshold and then give her some dancing classes. Maybe I didn't have to. I hear you yeah, you don't have to talk to Manuela, but you. In that case, yeah, the. Average year, the winning contestant has about this much charm. That's kind of misleading, then, isn't it? If thirteen just loses. Yeah, thirteen just loses. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> I mean, you have to beat the winning contestant, you know, so I guess oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't know, I she don't did know. say that the winner had 13 in the past. And like, it's not like you're going up against last year's contestant. That's true. This is, well, this is the new year, yeah. right? You know, like. All right, Hilda, I'm back again. Hey, Professor. Care to join me for dance practice? I like how she asked you to join her. That's right. She's the one teaching the dance. I mean, she does have like Mondo High Charm, right? So, you uh -huh. know. Oh, good job. You did it. There we go. Yeah. Yay. Cool cutscene. Hilda's charm increases by five factorial. Yep. <laughs> five factorial. <laughs> I'll be mean, with like a thousand twenty four charm or something like that. One hundred and thirty four, I think, is what she'd have. I don't know. <laughs> Based. Okay. Uh, we can't reclass her yet because we need to win it first, of course. But uh, mm -hmm. it's already been set. I've already bribed the judges. We're good. That's right. Okay. And uh, I guess we don't get the renown until we win, right? So maybe we don't get to do the saint statues, right? No, we don't. I don't know. Like, well, we have a Servant's Essentials, right? I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know what we were trying to buy. More Divine Pulses after that last chapter. <laughs> I mean, that's the reason we would probably want to do the Sothis Paralog, but yeah. Oh, true, true. Let me see. I think I have like 700 right now, which I think is not enough to do anything special. I could just get the experience. We've got to just save it again, because I think that was the initial plan anyway. Yeah, the, the, the EXP plus 5 missing out on that. For one, it's like 1.15 times the EXP to 1.2 times the EXP. Like, it, it, to be frank, it's kind of who cares. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think save until we get something better than that. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting any more renowned this month until the Dancer Contest, which is right before, I think, the battle or right after. So I guess mm -hmm. we're not getting anything regardless. I had, like, vague plans to use Authority plus 2 to boost our Authority, but I think Axe Trading is actually better anyway. So maybe this doesn't matter at all. See you again soon. Yeah, the I I think the authority will come on its own. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not in a super hurry to get Galatea or anything. Fair. Uh, the depends, last depends if we were like right there though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I had the numbers written down somewhere for faculty training, but we could do the other stuff first. I was thinking before we do the things that cost professor points. I was considering like rushing or fail recruitment, but now that I think about it, I don't know if it's actually like that worth because the paralog that Raphael and Ignatz have is not super high in the priority list anyway. And mm -hmm. we could just like get there with mules, maybe. We're at C right now with Raphael, so it's probably ways away. But oh, true, sure, yeah. It's just something we could get out of the way, because we're not planning on using using Raphael. I don't think it really matters that much. So, yeah, when we get as long as we get him by like chapter eleven, if we're looking to you know do the paralog for sure. Yeah, that's I true. Guess. I mean, we don't have that long left until the time skip ends, I guess. So we we should kind of do it. We should at least like have a meal with him, I guess. So yeah, I, I've looked at it. And, you know, at our current pace, which is like two paralogs a chapter, we are actually going to, like, hit the deadline with things left incomplete. So it, it'll depend on, like, how much we want to do. If we say, like, we're going to be completionists and do all the paralogs, or if we say we're going to just, like, intentionally not do something. Mm. So. Well, we are going to have two battle points per date, so we can always just do uh, a month with, like, four paralogs in it, if that would help, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that, that would set us pretty yeah. far ahead. I mean, because we have... Okay, so currently, if we do two per month, we do six. Yes. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll see people really add a lot to that, like two more. Four yeah, two more paralogs, so this seven, is like eight, so nine. much. Yeah, and then we're get. Is this all we're getting? Probably, right? Let's see, we got. We just got Hilda so. and Cyril, that's like one more, I think. I don't know if it's on here yet. Uh, is it... I don't, I don't see it on here. I don't see it either, so that, there's one more that is not shown yeah. here. I guess it comes in was, later. Is there Anna paralog on here yet? <laughs> uh, No, we haven't recruited Anna yet. I thought it would be funny oh, to okay, recruit fair. Anna post time skip if we do that at all. Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? That's so much funnier than the parallel, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, I wonder if we could beat it straight, but that's a yeah. discussion for another day. Yeah, can we get there if we do, like... Because mm -hmm. right now we're in Chapter 9, we still have this, 10, and 11. But we do get, like, I think three or four free days in each of those. So we could definitely spend, like, two days in one. Plus, 
today we're gonna hit like a major professor point threshold that I think will just be it for play pre time skip. So we don't have to like explore as much anymore anyway. Uh, like we can mm -hmm. make do with like seminars even or battle days more later on. But right now I think the professor points are just so huge because like. I'm coming up short on faculty training so much on Violet. Like, there's so many weapon ranks I want to get, but if I don't explore for a day, I miss out on it, and it sucks. But we're about to hit Professor Rank A, which means nine explore points for the rest of the of our days. So that's going to help a little bit. Yeah. Uh, okay. So for eating, I think what we need is Dimitri, Felix. Oh, by the way, last chapter I mentioned this to raises already. Last chapter we were supposed to have Violet the MVP. Of the the soul on chapter, oh, to fill some fifties, yeah, yeah, fill the fifty, and then we can supplement supplement it with like lost items. But we completely forgot, and the way that we used Byleth didn't really facilitate having her be MVP anyway. We just had Shamir do like everything that was important. So we would have had to make some drastic changes to make that happen. Like it wasn't just a matter of feeding one more kill to Byleth instead of one more to Shamir. Yeah, yeah. it is what it, it was is. A... Anyway, oh yeah, we're, we're here now. So yeah, we're we're here. We'll just we'll just roll with it. So we need to motivate Felix, Manuela, Constance, and Happy, and preferably eat with Raphael, but we could hold off on Raphael and just like gift spam him until he joins. So I guess we need... Yeah, this is all. I think it's two meals then. Dimitri, Felix, Constance, Happy. Oh, Manuela, and then if we have to motivate Manuela anyway, we might as well have her eat with Raphael or something. Mm -hmm. So I guess what we want here, if you could do the meal lookups real quick, yeah, yeah. is... I think I know Felix and Dimitri have a pretty straightforward one. I think it's like the the saute. Dimitri the, Felix, yeah, yeah, the two fish saute. It's some like buttery one up top. A requested URL was not found. Uh, I might have changed the URLs in the mean, but in the meantime, what was it? I had it written down before for a previous plan. Okay, here it is. Yeah, yeah. So Dimitri I Felix. I think up top. Yeah, yeah, Dimitri Felix. Sorry, I like literally just got the tool open. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, sauteed jerky, gate cheese gratin. Sauteed jerky. Oh, I'm out. I'm out of those. Or what mm. was the cheese gratin? Yeah, I got te cheese. Got te. I think it was. I think I'm out of cheese. I guess. I think we've done this a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. yeah we've, we've um, been here before. Dimitri happy, and then like sure. Felix. Oh, that's a fish else. one, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fish and bean soup, I think, was one. Yeah, onion gratin or sauteed jerky. For Dimitri and Happy. And they, they do have support, right? Dimitri and Happy, don't they? Dimitri and Happy have a support, yes. Uh, maybe out of that Onion. too. We're out of onions. Okay, great. Uh, oh, yeah, we're out of onions. That that will make a, a onion soup pretty difficult. Yeah, no. Uh, Dimitri and Constance don't have a support, do they? Sagar and Cream and Sweet Lunch Rio? I mean, it doesn't no matter way. a whole lot. I just need to like it, right? Yeah, I, I think they just need to like Hold it. Hold on, let me so... do the today special. Like, oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, there we go. Let you see, let you see this. Yeah, if all they need is motivation. Yeah. Or do you I, I think, think we, we built up enough support, yeah. Yeah, I think support is like, we want to eat out for like, Raphael to recruit him, but other than that, I don't really care. There we go, there is that A rank. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got it. That's plus one activity point for explorations. And it's plus one activity point for um, tutoring. And mm -hmm. it's plus one adjutants, which is the most important part. So that oh, will yeah, so be more adjutant. Yeah, mm -hmm. bring us an extra unit to like raise up. So now we don't no longer have to choose between like Ingrid, the Do, and whoever else we were using in the back uh, flame. Which mm -hmm. is nice. Okay, so now we've done that. Now we just need uh, Happy Manuela or something, or Happy Raphael or Manuela Raphael. One of those, or Felix with any of those. All those mm -hmm. are good. Uh, pff, Felix. Surely, Felix, Raphael. Okay, they have a lot. Yeah. Um, basically, any meat thing. Beast meat, pickled rabbit, daffodil stew, gander meat. Any of those would be good. Bourgeois pike? Not that. Not like good. like meat, I guess, not fish. Uh, Sorry. I think the problem is, like, I have plenty of meat. I just don't have any freaking Noah fruits or Albanian berries or onions. Oh, yeah, none of the, like, vegetables that go with the dish. Yeah, I don't yeah. have any veggies. I want to eat meat. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't have Raphael eat the meat without the veggies. That would be irresponsible of me as a teacher. I know, yeah. Okay, there we go. I found something. I don't know what it is. Fisherman's Bounty. That does sound like a fish meal. Him and Manuela. Sure, yeah, yeah. Person, Whatever. Person. <laughs> I don't actually know if I'm tutoring Manuela. Do. This is me. 
I guess, yeah, we did just miss Happy completely. Like, oh no. I mean, Happy's already at her advanced class. We could even not tutor her and instead, like, favor Byleth over her. Uh, True. I do, need, I do still need Felix, though. I mean, I guess I don't need Felix either, but he does need to hit something for advanced classes, I think. He needs, yeah, like, seems like, a bit more Felix rank. X, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did only plan, like, two cooking or two meal sharings in my plan for this chapter. Maybe, like, gift to Felix for the rest of it? Oh, that is actually a good idea, I think. Because he's the only one, right, that we really care about. Yeah, I mean, happy, I guess. We can also we can give both, though. That's fine. Okay, I'll gift those before we end. Cool. Let's cook. So, there's a speed threshold for the Solthus Paralogue. It's, um, it's for Felix, mostly. To hit, like, doubling birds and wolves. And I think we have to cook speed for it. So, that's something I think we kind of... We don't have to do it, but it will make it easier, I think. It is we a professor point. It, yeah. We kind of want... Yeah, we get to do it. Um... Mm -hmm. And I guess we don't really care about Professor Rank that much, or any of this. So I suppose it would be a good opportunity to, like, Raphael if he's able to. But does he suck at it? He yeah. does kind of suck at it. Okay, unfortunate. I mean, th th yeah, that just means, like, lower support and lower uh, Professor Point EXP. All right, we'll give to Ferdinand then. Sure. Uh, speed! Speed plus one. Don't spend all those 55 speed fish in one place, man. <laughs> hey, it's the same color as his hair. What the fire? The yeah. Flambe. Whoa. Oh, rats. No, I can do it. Right. 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 Guess I did it right. All allies. Nice. Ferdinand cooking the plus one speed he for cooks. your entire roster. And while we're here, I did a quick fetch quest to get these uh I don't know, I don't even remember what she asked me. Impressive. Nice we, work. We look for servant supplies, and now we get the Nouvelle Chamberlain core. Nouvelle Attendance Corps and Nouvelle Stewards Co. The reasons you said these battalions are like absolutely broken, right? Yeah, these are ridiculous. <laughs> like, these, these are just like dummy strong, all of them. And they're all at C rank as well. So she's a flyer, so she can't really equip them right now. Yeah. Uh, but if someone else had them, yeah, look at these things. This is, by the way, at level zero, at level, or at level one rather, at level five. We're talking like plus eight attack, like plus 15 hit. Just plus like eight. crazy stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, also these gambits too, kind of funny. Yeah, T serve are the best valets. Allies within range gain strength plus four. Last one turn. What the fuck? That's yeah. It, it does not. It does not sack with rally, but I mean, you can see the range on it. And <laughs> now anybody with see authority has rally. So is that is this blaze range basically? Wow. That's yeah, insane. blaze range on an ally. Uh huh. And this one, a rock solid convoy of exceptional maids. Allies within range gain defense plus six. Last one turn. Yeah, no. Is that just again stack, doesn't stack with rally defense, but it just like. It's more than rally defense, so who cares? Yeah, it, it overrides rally defense. It does not stack. Mm hmm. This one's magical instead. And then Nouvelle Stewards Co. Clean up the battlefield, attacks foes within range. Oh, so this is just uh, Link Lances, but like good. Like really good. 15 yeah, might, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? Only one charm, but yeah, big might. Insane. And 40 base hits, like kind of cringe too, actually. But all, all of these battalions also have like ridiculously good stats at level 5 as well. Is like kind of the main thing, especially like Nouvelle Chamberlain is some seriously good offenses. I think there are some times when I get have someone get C and like they're just on Nouvelle Chamberlain for the rest of the game. <laughs> Broken, yeah. I, I think uh, I'll I'll put him on for like one chapter at some point. I'm not sure which chapter that would be. Probably an easy ish one, maybe a paralog mm -hmm. somewhere, just to try him out for fun, show him off. And if they feel too strong, just like don't use them because we have plans that don't involve these battalions anyway. So I wasn't yeah, really yeah. counting on these like coming into my uh, calculations. Okay, I unlock the support apparently. Let me just see if I need to do that one real quick. I guess it's. F oh, it can't be Fernand. He's C. Plus. What does that, what does that mean? Oh, um, it is Fernand. What? It is Fernand, yeah. Oh, is it just C? Okay. I mean, we just want to get that, I guess. Uh, Not as far along as we thought, I guess. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was at C, but I guess I was wrong. I'll get that. And while I do that, I'm also going to, like, give Felix motivation before I forget. So I'll just go here. I don't know if we're doing training grounds this one or not. I feel like. Uh, the faculty training is really important. What's the reward? It's like a magic staff or something? Something like it. Too much merriment. The librarian betrayed us. Here, dude. Would you like... Actually, did I have any, any of these of them? Oh, shoot. I don't know. That's like a lot of work. Let me just gift you bullshit. Uh, yeah, no. I like the like a whetstone right? or something. Uh -huh. Oh, he does. He there does you like go. the dagger. Alright, how about this? You don't like those. Right. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> It's like, okay, there, there are some gifts that they just hate and they're like, they'll get zero support from it. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was not yeah. one of them. 
Uh, where is Happy? Happy. Ah, uh, she's in the abyss, probably. Probably. I mean, most of them are up now because of the dancing contest, I think. There's oh, Happy. never mind. I was wrong. Yep. There's Happy. Happy. Sounds like the church has been taken to what does she like uh, for war? Uh, definitely likes the smoked meat, for sure, right? No way she doesn't. For me? I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty great. All right, she does like it. All right, do you like fishing floats? That might come in handy. Thanks. And I'm fishing floats. <laughs> Look at her floats. face on that. She's like, no. <laughs> You're not bad, I guess. All right, someone lost something here. Who does fling? Oh, okay. Looks like Ash. I don't know. Aloise, I don't know. Yeah, maybe Aloise. I mean, he's right here. True, but true. You can have it later when I need this motivation. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it's like the chapter twelve, like lost item dump. Sorry, guys. I don't want these in my combo yeah. anymore. And if they're you forget, all going. If you forget, like during the entire war, just running around with like fifty of their lost items in your in your inventory. Yeah, no. Uh, shit, where is this? My cursor's in the way. It's like outside and then to the left. Mm -hmm. uh, other way, right? Oh, no, uh, you're probably the wrong way. Yep. No, you're, yeah, way. you're totally right. Uh, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure there's not one over there, but there's one over here. Pardon me. Teacher. Sensei. Sensei. Hello, Professor. Sure. Okay, that's all the time I have for you today, Ferdinand. Yeah, just the one second. And just the one second. Can I ask you one question? You just did. Congratulations. Yes, see you. Okay, we have five points left. I don't know what I thought we were going to do for the rest of the time. Cook defense or speed. Eat this. Uh, oh, sauna. forgot about that. I should probably do that. Because mm -hmm. I think sauna is a free point with regards to Byleth. So, uh, Byleth is not far away from two things we really want to do. One of them is hitting C plus access so she can qualify for Wyvern Rider. And the other one is getting B rank authority to be able to use the Galatea of Pegasus core. And I think Wyvern Rider is kind of urgent because it'll just give it to us for three more battles if we can reach it before the next paralog. The certification is not guaranteed, but we might as well start hitting it and see if it works or not, right? And then mm -hmm. that seems like a pretty big threshold to hit. Just have like, it's basically one extra move for her, right? Because she has all the other advanced bases probably. But yeah, the yeah. mods are kind of a big deal, I guess, because it gives her more defense, I think, particularly, right? Because the Wyvern has a defense mod, whereas Pegasus is like uh, zero. Yeah, it does give her a defense mod. It also gives her a pretty massive, like, plus three strength mod, and, of course, the fair. So, like, all those things are very good. They add up to, like, huge bonuses over Pegasus Knight. Wait. And yeah, I agree. Wyvern has Axe Fair? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that it just gives you plus five might like that. Or plus four, is it? It's, it's plus five. Oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty good. Okay. So I guess the most important thing for the sauna is to to hit. I, I forgot to elaborate on this. To hit B rank, we need a lot of faculty training. I think I did the math, and it's like if I do it like three or four times per explorer, and we do two explorers this month. Like if we do six faculty training axes, I think she barely gets there if you get one great. Mm -hmm. But if we don't get any greats, then we don't get there. But if we do sauna for plus four, then we get there within six guaranteed. I think I forgot the exact math, but that's the way I think it works out. And uh, whereas authority we can just do within one explore, so we'd be able to do like a bit of access as well. But I think the B rank authority is just much less big of a deal as the Wyvern promotion for Byleth. So I think we just it's really important now that we get it on Byleth. I don't know if it, anyone else really matters that much with regards to what they need to hit for their weapon ranks. Um, but again, we, we want someone who matches Byleth's heat, so probably the blue lines are just kind of out. So we could just kind of like roll with I don't know, uh, yeah. What Shamir, I don't know. Yeah, maybe Yuri, maybe Shamir. Um, Whoever's close. Yeah. Happy will be alright, I guess, but she's already hit B plus Faith, which is where she wants to be for Bishop. Mm -hmm. uh, how close is she again to Valkyrie? Because I think she had some kind of way to go. Or was it uh, Valkyrie with Darkflyer? Oh, she's already basically Darkfire. there. She's yeah, there. yeah. Baltus is... Let me just do a double check here. I have this all on the spreadsheet too, but I'm already here. Baltus is basically there. Maybe Yuri is the way, but didn't he like kind of melt when we tried last time? Yeah, he like kind of exploded. Bro cannot take the heat despite his uh, implications. So he's kind of there for us anyway. Yeah, he's kind of there too. What about uh, what about Felix? I know like Felix is, you know, got the poor heat tolerance problem, but you know. <laughs> what if it was like Felix? all a hoax and it was just like all RNG basically the whole way through? Like, Oh yeah, the whole, it? yeah, no. <laughs> um, You wanted to see his... Where did I do that? Was it he's, he's like two ranks away from something. 
yeah, he was he was close to a lot of classes, but not quite there. Um, so assassin is forty three percent. Yeah, it? everything should be forty three. And hero was like the alternative right for him, which is also forty three percent apparently. So yeah, I, yeah. he just needs sword rank basically to get to Iterdom. So I guess Felix would be a good candidate to like just try, I guess. Sure, let's try Felix. Sure, sure. Let's give it a go. All right, hit it. We need him to survive. Don't die. And we need him to survive to get the plus four for Byleth, right? Like, that's the important part. We don't actually yeah, care I, as much about oh Felix God. himself. Yeah, you're so right. Good thing we say it first. Man, oh man. Hit me. Uh, I don't, hold on. Maybe. There's like a chance he doesn't like overheat if you stay longer. It's looking promising. I don't know about that. I think Byleth needs to get like, a really big one and Felix a really small one. Hit the increased steam. No, 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 no. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. I mean I trust you. Let's try it. I mean it's, it's did or bust. Oh? oh. Oh perfect, perfect. Oh, really? Wow, that works, I guess. Okay. Double. Alright, nice. Everybody gets their plus four. Very cool. I like it, I like it. Does it show up here or for four? I know it is. Uh, I, I know it is. Don't there. remember where it shows up. I think it's like only the. Oh, I see it. Screen. I see it. Oh, found it. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's great. Uh, we actually have room for four faculty training. That's very nice. Well, let's uh, hit up the axe ones to see how far we get before we make mm -hmm. our decision about the last points. So we need like one flying, right? Uh, I mean, maybe we do. If we do, we can just get it here anyway. Uh, I guess we just go to like Sedeth and C. Because we can do Manuela for flying, so we can use Sedeth's uh, axes, no problem. Yes, yes, I agree. Sedeth for axes. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? Hey, train my axe rank. So now we get 26 per, which by my math, I think takes like... F it was like I, I typed the numbers into my Google calculator and it turned into like 6 point something into 5 point something. So I think that means that 6 axe rank training should get us there always. Great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If, and if we get some greats, then they get multiplied, yeah, by 1.5. So very Ooh, good. Based. Does that mean that we need another great somewhere for this to like help at all? Or uh, I mean, maybe I don't know. I, I haven't done the math <laughs> same, yet. Same. So. Same. I did the math and then forgot about it. So worse of anything. Yeah. Well, if it's um, at 6.5, then surely, surely mm -hmm. it helps, right? It villages harvest festival. There was a full moon, bathing everything in its cool glow. She appeared out of nowhere, dancing gracefully in the moonlight. A lovely fairy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the full moon thing was an embellishment, I admit. Oh, he's so mad. He's so funny. For waxing poetic, can't you? <laughs> anyway, we soon fell in love and tied the knot. Now we have a daughter who's as bright and beautiful as a sunny morning. So, whenever I see people dancing, I think of my wife, and my heart does a little waltz. Okay, ADL. All that to say, actually, I just want axes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just came here for it. Sir, this is an axe training faculty. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Gilbert, he's like here. There he is, found him. He asked me to steal a book from Petra. Very cool, very normal. Oh, that's funny, and yeah, no. Professor. Please walk into one of your students' room and steal one of their sheds. Good. 54. That is within three. And we have yeah. one point left. So I guess we just... There's no one extra, right? There's no one left. I yeah, a, a single grate does push it over that. So we... It's either two or three remaining. Okay. I guess I'll just get my Manuelos flying then. Sure, sure. And that's guaranteed to put us over C. Just double check this. Okay, we're good here. I hear you've chosen your representative on an average... I know, charm. I know. Just keep me flying already. Charm is important. Okay. Nice. Still have much to learn. That's true. Nothing but faculty training. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. We leave now. See ya. See ya. Okay. So I guess first priority is sword rank on Felix, right? To get closer to... Uh, get that yes, 43 that's... up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's like definitely the important one. <laughs> so, I mean, he's not going to have to qualify until he actually hits level 20, but we might as well get there before... He hits level 20. Yeah, I think we should be prepared for it all the same. To be fair, with goals, he's already there. Of 
course I got it. But I guess I can set his goal to something else now. This could be useful. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Sunder. So now... And it's not as though more is bad either, right? Like, you mm -hmm. know. Okay, 75%. I'll take those odds when he hits that. Okay, uh, he still gets one more, so I guess we hit authority for C rank battalions later on. Yeah. That's like the closest thing Sounds I see to, to it, something that matters. Keep trying, bro. Okay. Um, I think Dimitri actually has like quite a ways to go with regards to Paladin, right? Like, yeah, not... he. Yeah. It's a long way. Mm -hmm. So either some writing or some lances. Yeah. Uh, the lances with the goal should, should probably be there. So I think the writing is the most important. Yeah, writing is further behind, it looks like. Oh, also the. Oh, the Hunting Town still isn't there. What the fuck? Yeah. I forgot about that. Well, now he's there. I did not know I had such I know. power. It's probably why we had last authority as a goal on him, because we still had to finish this. We got a couple perfects, that's why he hadn't didn't get it to full writing yet. Yeah. I guess the the way now is to, to set his goal oh no 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 no. To set his goal to riding lances, just to make sure he gets there and then continue doing battalions. Oh yeah. Oh it wasn't on riding lance already, it was on Lance Authority. Okay, yeah. wow, yeah. I believe so. Yeah, if he's at B, this is like I mean, obviously, A is pretty good for him, too, but, like... Oh, he's Lance's writing already. That's fine. So Yeah, it should be good. I mean, once he reaches... He he needs he just needs writing at this point to have a chance, but we might as well keep the Lance's going, probably, right? Yes. Okay. That's Dimitri. And then we need to do... I think, I guess we just do Manuela. Let's see, what else do we have? We need the four DLC characters, although they kind of have what they need. And Manuela, question mark, and that's it? With regards to relevant yeah, characters? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I can't really see anything like super else. I know we just got Hilda, but if we're if we're if we've already locked in Hilda Dancer, then like yeah. we don't really need we it. Have. So. I think sixty five is good enough. We can't really prove that anyway for Bishop, so I guess just keep going for the riding rank or riding slash where is it? Duckery. Oh we need a lot more yeah, for that. Riding reason, yeah. Uh, we need reason riding. too. We have work to do. I guess we might as well get to B reason first, I guess. Does she get anything new? Do you remember? Uh, a spell? Question mark? Let me look. Because I could just go full reason here. She gets death gamma. Holy. I mean, that is a spell. It is three range, actually. It's pretty good. Finally, so three range. Okay, she's going to get there with goal. I'm going to give her one, uh, one writing. Wow, thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Learn with my heart, not my head. So they're like, nice. Reason writing goal then? Yeah, I think so. Happy. Because she's already got their faith thing, so writing reason. Nope. Ooh, don't hit that button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Constance. She was already basically where she wanted to be for Dark Fly, I'm pretty sure. So we can do whatever we'd like. Yeah, she's kind of able to do whatever. Shoot for rescue. B is I guess? probably fine. Yeah, sure. Rescue is B or A. Yeah, it's B. It's B. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, she's like right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. We might have to set our goal to that. Oh, nice. Wait, a three. Baltus. No, this is four. So he's basically there for four just now, but that's not the only class we want him to be, right? So maybe we make sure he can. Well, he can qualify for multiple things already. Yeah. He's already kind of up there. Yeah. As always, the Bolt is like, he's already there. What are you doing? I guess we can give him faith so we have the backup option of going War Monk and prove to Commons oh, wrong if it's bad. Uh, I mean, if it's good, I'd be <laughs> happy with that. Like, I don't I don't actually know. Like, <laughs> if Commons like it, then sure. It's, we, it's, we could either, try to... it's either that or like, go for B rank battalions, which would also be good in its own way, I guess. His faith is so far away. Like, we literally haven't even started it. That is true. That is really far away. Fuck that shit. That takes forever. I don't know what you're thinking, comment section. I'm sorry. I know you're going to do the same comments as you did in episode one when we talked about the, the class, but like at this yeah. point, like, come on, that can't be worth it. That's so many sessions. What about flying for a wyvern? Oh, right. I was going to be your backup wyvern when Byleth is like enlightened one or whatever. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have some work to do there. So we need D plus, apparently. So, uh, sure. Let's get to work. Surely. We'll get somewhere eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And Yuri. Uh, Just I, nothing but authority. I I I guess because he's already here for what was it? Assassin. 
And he's nothing else he can really qualify for reasonably quickly besides maybe Hero if he went Axes, but he doesn't have any Axe rank, right? No, not really. Yeah, I think we like briefly gave him some Axe rank for an idea, and then it's like, this is just not worth it. Let's yeah. do something else. That looks, that is what it looks like. That is what a failed project looks like, an abandoned yeah. project. And if he's there Sorry for that. Assassin, then like, there's nothing else. It's like that, you know, half page Word doc in my like, <laughs> you know, progress folder, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, authority it is. And then I guess Manuela's warp is our next priority. It's not that far away, actually. It's like, I mean, B to B plus and to A takes forever, but I thought she'd be at C plus or something. Yeah, no. Either that no, or some meter wyvern, I guess. Uh, oh, gosh. We have our Dude. we have our filler wyvern already. Like, we have two of them. We don't need another one in Shamir, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shamir's like our only sniper anyway, so she never needs... And she doesn't need to qualify for an advanced class, so like this is mm -hmm. probably fine. I cry. We need it's a beautiful unit. Put in cringe sniper for sure. I mean, Pegasus occasionally. We don't have to That's be sniper. True. We can be Pegasus if you prefer. Okay. Anything else? I don't think so. I'm just double checking the goals real quick. Does he need swords? Probably not anymore. Probably do authority. Solo, solo authority maybe. Yeah. I mean, yeah, authority solo would probably be fine. Sure. Can I get to see somehow? That's she the used to do bells, so right? no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's cavalier now. We probably don't care about reaching paladin because she only has like three other levels, right? So we're, mm, we kind of we could try to get up to seventeen, but she's probably not going to make it to seventeen as a cavalier. So we have to reclass back to mage to get her those kills. But if we get her to seventeen and then she levels in time skip to twenty, then paladin could be relevant. So then it could be relevant to go with lance's riding here. But yeah, yeah. that's pretty far off. Maybe we're just better off just doing authority, for example. We're only at C plus still. Like maybe yeah. authority reason. Or authority, authority reason. Authority faith. Reason would give her a new like attacking spell. Authority faith could give her recover. Mm. Which is pretty funny. It's better than mid, you know. but I'm I'm down for uh authority it's faith. Mid. Honestly. It's the strongest weapon in the game. That's Mecca. true. You better repair it often and early. Uh is it C? Uh, recover it is, right? Yeah, it's C. Uh, I'm not good with this then for her. Probably the rest of her time until she gets recovered. Uh, how is she on Wyvern now? Uh, needs more Axe rank, apparently. I guess... Does she ever need more Lance rank? No, right? I think she got what she needed. Does she? Sometimes I do uh, Lance anyway, because I'll deploy her as like a Paladin with a Bat later, but mm -hmm. it's, this looks like not something we're doing. It's kind of hard to get Paladin from here, I think. And we have a lot of Paladins already, so... Yeah, it's a bit far out. I don't mind, like, Axe Authority, yeah. Finally, I get to say this line without it being a pitfall, because it's a self-inflicted challenge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need Axes for sure. And then, we had enough flying for Wyvern, so we could do Axes Authority, I guess? Sure, sure. And Dorothea is fine with what she's got, I think. Uh... I don't care about most of these... I guess we said Hilda to writing. Oh, true. Uh, yes, writing. Like, sure. I know dancers can technically like use swords and get a sword of plus twenty, but do we care? No. I guess. Oh, um, I guess we care in a situation where we want to like her to use like eleven sword plus as like a support option. Oh, true. She has bolt axe plus too, right? Like we got to pay for it, but like. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is like I might as well just use a bolt axe in that case, and then. I don't care enough about Sword of Foot plus 20 to, like, teach her an entire region of swords. Like, that that takes forever to get for such a small benefit. I might as well just do solo writing. Because, can you use Bolt Axe Plus at C plus axes? Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's a C rank. Okay. Axe. It's only Magic Bow, which, like, Turbo sucks and is B. Okay. That's not the only reason it's bad, but yeah, for <laughs> sure. That's so cringe. Okay. No. Uh, Manuela. Do we need authority on Manuela still? Oh, God. No, no, no. D, D is plenty. These all she needs. Okay, so we just do solo faith then. Yeah, that's what I'd do here. Solo faith, or rather like sword faith, but solo faith is probably good too. Mm -hmm. What is the benefit of doing swords? Do we get another art or swords? Uh, no, it's like a no. It's just a hundred percent trickster shirt. That's it. <laughs> that's all you get. <laughs> I mean, I mean, how far off are we from that? She's already there. Let's ah, go. don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry, worry about, about it. it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Solo faith. All right, I have faith. Uh, Shamir's still working on Wyvern. We'll get there eventually. Oh, Cyril. Um, I mean, this is right probably him. what he wants, kind of. Maybe flying, if he's like, like if he's ever going to be fielded, what does he want? Either riding or flying, right? Yeah. 
Probably. It's for vengeance. I don't know. Oh yeah, true. That's a thing he can do. I guess that is actually like that's actually a legit thing. But what's his vengeance rank? C? C plus. Oh, that's gonna take a while, but we might as well set him to it in case it ever happens. Maybe yeah. Lance Authority? I don't know. Like, sure. It's either that or like flying to get to what he has to make I guess he does have to make Wyvern Rider, but he's already at C plus axis, so that's not too hard to get. Yeah. I think Lance Riding's probably the best here. That's right. Authority, like, if he's gonna be like a filler cav, he can I don't know, like True. Hold Saros mercenaries. It's like a fine battalion, actually. It's like, true. It's not, yeah, he could be deployed terrible. as a joke as like a cavalier somewhere with that. That is true. He doesn't have yeah, to take yeah, up yeah. the paladin slot for that. I like that. <laughs> as a joke. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, Cyril Hildepel could be done post time skip, you know. And then we true, have a true. free Cyril deploy with vengeance options. We're allowed to do it. Uh -huh. We can uh, cast blessing on him to get him to one HP and then use vengeance on enemies. Big bring, <laughs> big bring. There we go. Okay. Uh, does he need bow rank still? No. Is it C? He's fine. Mm -hmm. Do we have any B swords? No, right? Probably not. Do we have one heavy armor? Do we want to do the armor? Do you want like sword master? Oh gosh. Wait, this is heavy a... armor. Maybe. Mm. Wait, this guy's insane. Wait, look at these stats. Holy. He's, he's pretty good. What's I know he where to. I mean, the luck is coming from goddess ring, and the speed is coming from cooking. But other than that, uh, I guess. I mean, surely authority. But what else? Do we just solo authority? Uh, I don't hate solo authority actually. All right. Yeah, sure. No hate. Voltus. Probably has plenty of armor now, right? Like, we have the qualification for Fortnite. I think armor is actually a thing he was theoretically short on. Oh, but yeah, for for chancing Armor Knight, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think it was flying that we needed. Oh, yeah. We, we're going to make him ready for that. So, I mean, he hit the X threshold just now. So, I guess authority flying is good, right? Sure. And then Constance is pretty much where she wants to be for this, but she still needs. Oh, she was going to go Faith or Rescue. And then, I guess, uh, do whatever here. I think she gets Bolting at some point for a reason. We'd also just yeah. get more Authority if you want to. More reasons always good on Constance. Okay, and Happy, we were pretty far away for this, so we need to do that. Yeah, okay, all good. Yeah, we, we did manually set this one yes. a moment ago. Uh, that's the Skywatch. Too. I actually kind of want to Stable Duty Dimitri. <laughs> I'm a bit like concerned about the writing rank. Uh, wait, who? What? Stable, stable duty, not writing, not or sky. Dimitri, and I guess uh, that would be uh, happy then. Sure. Because like he could do the do for higher. No, it's not even better because the do has a writing bane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess Felix is, is the... three stars. Happy's three stars. Might as well give it to Happy then because they can build up a support, and Happy needs the writing rank as well. Sounds good. Or Sir. Oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, get out of here. All right, perfect. Okay. Woo! Yeah, Dudu has the stable duty bane apparently. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh it's time. Spitchy. I mean, Don't I'm pretty sure it. it's one of these two. Ask somebody who's good at cleaning, I think, yeah. Ask somebody who's gullible is like, you know the strat, and you're like making fun of her for it, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But somebody's good at cleaning. I mean, that that's her actual strategy, right? It's mm -hmm. like, oh. Yeah. Are you so good at Wait, it? You should do best it. Best answer is middle? What? Yeah, oh yeah, that is the one. Okay, cool. I thought middle was gullible. Yeah, best answer is ask someone's good at cleaning. Nice. Hey, motivation. All right. Professor. Professor. Optimized. Oh, we have a tea party coming up too. It's oh, Lord. Bernadetta. Bernadetta? Oh, no. Bernie. This is like her least favorite activity. <laughs> Probably. I mean, it. at least it's only one other person that's in there. She doesn't have yeah. to be in front I'll of a berry, crowd. honey fruit. All yeah. right. Uh, what's the other one? Pining fruits? Uh, honeyed fruit, my bad. Okay, I don't have that, so we'll, this is what it'd be. Alright. Poor Bernadetta. Oof. She has no hopes. She has no ideal professor. No hopes for the future. It's gotta be the library's... Is it? Hold on. It is the library's question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy. I guess she, she would be the type to like reading. It's just like um, scuttle away with a book, sure. School uniforms? School uniforms? Actually, yeah. Wow, what? Okay, sure. Uh, I guess. Kind of a dry topic, I guess. I don't know. Things that Not bother you. <laughs> Things that bother you. <laughs> Can't even believe I looked over to the guide for that. Yeah, get out of here. Is it? Things that. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. 
Right. Whoa. Whoa. I was worried you called me here to punish me for something. I'm glad I was wrong. Admonish. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to crash A, but I got it anyway. Perfect. Skill. All skill. All skill. All skill. Yeah, I meant to do it. Uh -huh. Oh, no. I don't have a bear. I'm going to give her the bear plushie. I don't have it, though. Oh, no. The stuffed teddy bear? Yeah. The armored bear plushie. That's Wait. a top tier gift. I'm still saying. I can't believe anybody doesn't like that thing. I have a plant. She actually does like that. Yeah, she does. A lot. Cool. Carnivorous plant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna eat me! Ah! Let me out! No, she no, likes them. Yeah. She likes them, actually. Oh, that's true. I remember It's that. in her lore. She's like, they're so cool, the way they kill the bugs. <laughs> and Ferdinand's like, you're weird. <laughs> I'm out of here, weirdo. Let's coordinate our efforts. Here we go. I cannot get over how this animation got past playtesting. I guess that's that. She just oh, pets, this one here. Oh, she pets the air. Oh, yeah. Defensive tactics. Ah, yes, that, that skill I'm definitely hands. using. On the nets. Yeah. Surely this will come in useful. Surely. Okay. You have allies who can take advanced exams. Yeah, like, I'm not sure if she can take any. Well, she can take the wyvern one. I guess we could just like, save scum for it. Like, we just, just save like, check it if it doesn't work yeah, yeah. next week. Yeah. And then we have it, like, you, guaranteed. You might as well rip it at 43. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, like, <laughs> if we get it, we, just, we can faculty train something else, like authority. That's pretty good. Let's try it. Surely. Surely. All right, fellas. Do your own exam. Come on. Come on. Check them. Oh! Oh, oh we simple. have it. We have it. It was it's optimized. Simple, it was optimized. <laughs> nice. A new path to tread. All right, well, we well, have our first advanced class. That's great. That's Holy. cool. I didn't think we'd get there like this easily, but uh, here we are. Yeah, just like chance the thing, I guess. Uh -huh, just sure. try it, Lamao. Easy. That's based. Holy shit. She's so strong. I'm gonna get another point of speed from cooking. She's gonna level like crazy as well. Oh my gosh. The yeah, here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, exploring still seems optimal, right? Just to get people closer to their advanced classes. I w I'm kind of open to the seminar idea, right? But at this point, we get more out of tutoring, right? Because we have more professor points, whereas the seminar doesn't increase with your professor points, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Exploration. There's no one else who has advanced classes mm -hmm. unlocked yet. No one is level 20 besides Byleth. Yeah, I, I will say the statement is still blanket true that if all the people in attendance at the seminar care about at least one of the things being taught, then for those six people, seminar is better than explore, but it's like we, we can explore and like be more precise mm -hmm. than that. So True. Okay, and we still have this, uh... oh, we didn't check the training grounds, what it was. Let me just check that real quick. What was it? The Magic Staff, you thought? Black Magic Tournament? Black Magic Tournament, yeah. Rewards, a Silver Shield. Oh, a Silver, hmm. Do you want Hold that? Up. Actually, that's kind of good. Yeah, um, that's kind of good. I mean, we, we like saved ourselves prod. a bunch of, like, Professor Points by this, with this qualification, so I think we can afford to do it. Yeah, we could just do whatever we want, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just blow it up with Constance, I guess? Sure, I think she has, like, a Shemillion Res. Should yeah, be I think so working. too. I'll save just in case. Do we cook first or no? Yeah. Oh, isn't, does that work? It does work, yeah. You uh, get I mean, the stats. Get one point of speed, who cares? Let's just do it. Yeah, surely. I mean, we're getting there and not <laughs> mm -hmm. double, and we'll be like, come on. Never mind. <laughs> She's outdoors, so she's probably going to be like, oh, how... Oh, yeah. no. Oh, she has fiendish bow? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. 5% crit on wind, fellas. Watch out. Too slow. I love him seeing NPCs crit. Everyone just has like yeah. an, this recorded crit Take this. <laughs> Take this. Seven with 10% crit. I guess if we heal, we don't die. Yeah, you should probably heal. I don't know why we have a dumb to die to that. Thank God we're preserving all these spell uses. Can you have the spell uses in the arena? You can, right? If you just have like a battle takes forever, you just stop attacking at some point. I think. You know, I don't actually know. I Okay, I know that like you do have four rounds of combat to yeah. kill them. And if you don't kill them in four rounds, you lose. But I don't know if the spell uses thing actually like matters for that i feel like i've seen someone run out of spell uses before in the arena they had like two high res people talking fighting each other mm -hmm. okay. and you're guaranteed victory please don't mess this up thank you that's a lot of crest activations what the heck yeah no all right it's ours yeah he needs plus speed well, we do, because we're about to cook it. Oh, true, true. 
Uh, let's do that. You have my thanks. It's all good. Uh, okay, so we did we ever look up if you can get C plus with Ferdinand? I don't remember. I don't think you can. You can get okay. C plus. It's just B that you can't get. Okay. Cook another one of these bullheads, Ferdinand. You were so good at it last time. Another <laughs> one of these bad boys. I mean, I don't see it in the pan. Maybe it's not there at all. They're just making it up. Just burning the oil, I don't know. Yeah. That is what it looks like they're doing. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, let's see if we can get the same menu as last time or if we run out of even more food. This special... Oh, today is a different special, but it looks like we have people who can do it, so... Just do that. It's a wonderful dish. <laughs> She's so into it. Okay, and now we need to eat some fish. I think it was fish. It was one of the fish soup things. Sorry, guys. Oh. All we're eating is fish. Yep, apparently. Okay. Uh, Yuri, happy? Sure. Found it. Did it just show up in a list like that? How can I refuse? I've eaten many meals in my <laughs> it just jammed them. Yeah. Here you go. I think after a while, you just kind of like get the hang of like running through the menu quickly and finding stuff. Yeah, who, who's got it? Who doesn't have it? Uh, mm -hmm. In this case, I don't know. Oh, that, that's that's a lot of options actually. I just need Dimitri. Felix Dimitri like X. Yeah. Yeah, Dimitri Felix. Last yeah, time we did them through the like greenhouse or no? Uh, actually, I should go to the greenhouse first to see if I can get more stuff. What's this? More vegetables, oh. Manuela C. Oh, oh, I don't want to get that then, right? You want to wait until she shows Oh, up. yeah, that, that fills the motivation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me get go to the good idea. Pick up my veggies. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got a turnip. Whatever that's worth. Turn up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I I turned up. I think it's plant five. Okay, I just want to get all the food. Here you go. I got paid. The real one. Yeah, please, the mixed herbs. <laughs> okay, don't step on a landmine. Does that even get us, like, tomatoes or something, or...? No, it didn't get us anything we wanted. Dang. I don't think. So, we're looking for... Dimitri, Felix, and Baltus. Surely, Dimitri Baltus has something, right? Surely. If they had something, what would it be? Deirdre pheasant, two fish saute... No, wait, never mind. The apple slow. Cheesy Verona, gotcha, gotcha cheese, and saute jerky. That's all the stuff I don't have. Because like, that, that was what That's Felix cheesy and Bruno right there. Oh, cheesy Bruno, you're right. Dimitri, Baltus. Ooh. Thought. Oh, wrong guy. <laughs> Picked the wrong outsider. Oh, this takes me back. My favorite meal. Is... Favorite cost. Free. <laughs> I guess I could gift Felix again. It's not like I'm short of hunting daggers or anything. He's just starving, we're like, here's a hunting dagger to find <laughs> yeah, himself. Yeah, like, go get your own food. You don't like yeah, eating yeah. people anyway. Uh -huh. Let's give you two hunting daggers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here you go. go I'm happy as a man with two knives. Yep. <laughs> nice. And I guess that means we can enjoy some more faculty training if we want. I guess we can, uh, first of all, I'll just get the... I keep like wanting to click the support one, sorry. I guess we yeah, can yeah. go get the... Yeah, we can just get authority from Sedith and... What else do you just Sedith and Gerald? Is it Gerald still around here? Is he, like, doing something right now? I don't know, Let's actually. see him. Well, we can talk to these people at least. Maybe Rhea sure. teaches something useful. I don't think Does so. Rhea teach authority? I don't know. I think she's, like, swords, faith. Sword, reason, faith, brawling. Yeah. Because the cutscene? I don't know. Yep. It is exactly that. Oh, well, at least Sedith has something useful. Sorry, Rhea. Give me authority. Authority. Alright, I respect it. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Only need one more. What are we going to do with these last points? Call me. Eat with Felix anyway. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, You've trained up the professor rank, and now here you are. Louise is like all this stuff. No way Catherine teaches it. No, Catherine's not. I guess we can get it. heavy armor from Gilbert. Actually, that's kind of true. We are kind of behind on that. Now, we need some of it to recruit Ferdinand eventually if we want to go for that. Although, it's not like a super important thing. 
but also heavy armor on Violet allow nah, that doesn't really allow us to do anything special. I guess the the Fortress Knight like Hunter Day Break meme. Yeah. It's like weight three as well. True. Weight minus three is pretty good. Yeah. Like because like what else can we spend points on? I guess the oh uh quart quarry training would be kinda nice. Oh true. Are you sure there's no Gerald? I'm not sure. But like where would he be? Night's Hall? Hmm. I don't see that. Yeah, that or his office or like the dining hall. Yeah, I don't see him. Does he have authority? Isn't he like swords, lances, writing or something? He does authority. Okay. Well, he ain't here. Montemolo uh, does not do authority. <laughs> no. That's like faith, swords, flying, right? Yeah. Who else even teaches authority? Is it just Gerald and Sedeth? I think Eureka does too. Well, <laughs> alright, let me get yeah, him real that. quick. <laughs> let me get yeah, him real about quick. That. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of sucks, actually, that we can't get authority because Gerald is freaking gone. And, like, he's not going to be, like, back or anything. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That is not coming home. Sorry, guys. Like, because, like, it's so stupid because this cutscene after, you hear Gerald, he's just right here in the monastery telling you to come with him. So I guess he, like, rode back and forth to Remire. No, wait, not Remire. That was after the last chapter. But he did, again, tell you to go somewhere. Oh, well. Yeah, he has a mission. I don't know. Yeah, I guess he is on a mission. Uh, well, I... Armor it is. Armor it is, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Alois gives armor too, right? Yes. Armor it is. So we need C for heavy armor or a weight minus three, right? Yes, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is, yeah, this is my second point. Uh... No, heavy ah. armor. I mean, how did I think this guy, this man, did not teach heavy armor? I don't know yeah, it's easy to forget. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do choir training, I guess. We'll get like Raphael in there, or um, yeah, Raphael Burnett, I guess. Sure. Build supports. Yeah, anyone support really. Check the uh, what Raphael supports at right now, though, if you can. I'm uh, kind of curious. I well, you, you can you can press like Y on his thing or whatever. I mean here? No, no, in the choir. It'll show you like the exact rank. Actually. Oh, like, just like with cooking, or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, the the check stat button. I don't know X. whatever it is. Yeah, X. For X. Me. Okay, yeah, it's Y on an Xbox controller. That's all I know. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, those are switched up. It's really annoying when playing games. So yeah. Birdie and what was the other one I said? Raphael. I think Raphael. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. probably bad at it. Oh, he. Oh, he's like neutral about nice. singing. All right. Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. Oh, their mouths do move. Louder. It feels so good just to let it out. Oh. You know, this gets us authority. Yeah, I was about to say, it didn't seem to give it a whole lot, but it does give some, I guess. It gives something, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's no 22 or 26 or whatever it was. Or yeah. actually, it's 30 for faculty training because she has a boon in authority. That sucks that we can't get more. Oh, well. Dang, yeah. Both ranks are hard, I guess. Okay, we got greenhouse. We got everything. I think we can go make a save just in case I forgot something dumb. Finish exploring. One more tutoring. The ranks. Oh god, my mouse. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I just gotta plug it up. It gave me the no. <laughs> Same plan, I suppose. Writing is getting there, though. Now it's C plus. Wait, that means he can try, right? Almost. Yeah, he'll be able to try after this. Well, I mean, Once in one XP. 20. Yeah. That worked. I mean, I guess he can keep doing the goal. Because, like, what's the chances now? Like, 75? 46. Ugh. So he, he wants to get yeah. one rank, probably. Yeah, probably Lances is what's mm -hmm. going to happen next. Yeah, we could I just, imagine. like, set his goal to Lances Authority then, I guess. Because, like, is the writing ever going to hit B, B before he hits level 20? No way, right? Yeah, I don't know. Lance armor, actually. Hold up, I don't know. Uh, I mean, like he, he's right there at at uh, weight three, right? So, is he? Oh, I guess yeah. That actually seems decent to me. Authority can come. I know, that, like, probably the reason we're like scrambling to get this paladin rank is because we did heavy armor in the first place. But you know, but like, you know, maybe now that we're here. Yeah. Now that we're here. Yep. We might as well like try and redeem we our effort. Procrastinate it a little bit. Okay, we went yeah. over these pretty in depth, so I think they can mostly stay the same. I don't remember anyone where we're, so like, they were close to the thing. We gotta get him off the thing after this. Yeah, I agree. I think we can just 
Click the instruct button. Let it rip. Uh, whoa, 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 yeah, click the instruct button, not the begin lecture button. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Felix, get authority. It's nice that the cursor just stays at whatever you were doing before, so at least have some kind of memory. What you were oh, doing. really? That's actually pretty cool. Yep. See authority. Maybe he can change off of it now. Because, like, is he ever going to get B for it to matter? I mean... It's pretty annoying with a boon. But with a maybe, like, what else is he going to get, though? I guess more bow rank for prowess. Day. Yeah. We'll see. I'll go over your goals in a second. Um, so, Manuela, Faith. Getting there. That should be there within like two months, right? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely. Yuri. Just keep hitting authority. Go on. Go on. Sing my praises. Oh, with those perfects, I will, actually. More B. Flying. Wait, do we need flying? We do, right? Yes, that's the one. Yeah, we kind of do. Kind of. He was backup wyvern number X, basically. <laughs> yeah, like two or three. Yeah. Depending on what Shamir ends up doing. Do you actually like, need to put some effort into Shamir wyvern then, or no? Uh, I mean, I'm already kind of effort. here. Yeah, true, true. I think, I think Shamir Wyvern is also like literally miles away, right? A little bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's like, I mean, it's not like we haven't started at all, right? You know, like. It's true. I mean, I did some of my homework. I mean, C yeah, plus yeah. axis and D plus flying. I mean, D plus flying is already there, so I guess it is just axe rank, literally. Yeah. But I don't know. We, like have, we have by flying, so all we would do is just like. This is basically going to be relevant once I get Enlightened 1, I think. Yeah, yeah, true. And that's about it. I think... We can procrastinate even further on that, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. <laughs> it's also... Um, she's going to get... Uh, this. Right now. Already. So, like, what does mm -hmm. she do once she gets Rescue? Because I think if I, hit re if I hit the Faith button now, she'll get Rescue. Mm -hmm. So I mean, she, she can use Rescue in Darkfire. Like, she yeah. can do that. I guess I'll just like hit it, so I don't have to go uh, faith. That seems fine to me. Or do I? Okay, I do. Never mind. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mastery is within my grasp. Mastery is within my grasp. Okay, she just hit some benchmarks. Hold up. Hundred percent dog? Nah, not even close. Oh no! Yeah, get out of here. She got somewhere. We need a lot I was more wrong. writing. She's true, she's, true, true. she's there for a reason. We just need a lot more writing. can change our goal to, like, solo writing if we want to. Yeah, yeah. Because, like... I guess we still... Oh, we could do faith writing, I guess. That seems decent, too. Because she still needs warp. Yeah, there's warp. still warp to get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Faith... Writing? Let's go. Oh, is there anything else I need to change? Not really, right? I think it was Dimitri that was, like, heavy armor, but I think I did that. Yeah. Yeah, you already did that. Uh, or it was, it was Felix that you were considering maybe not authority. Yeah. Uh, that would be bow. And then... I don't know. I kind of like authority. I think it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. I would just like to get... I don't know. Do you think it matters to have, like, higher than C bow when you're using bows mostly? I feel, I feel like higher prowess, prowess are, like, nice, but it is a lot of work to get higher. Yeah. B would give, like, silver bow. Um, that's, like, basically it. Uh-huh. I think he was Brave Bow too, mm -hmm. actually, but I'm not sure. It's just like he's got everything he needs for advanced and probably master classes too, because like what master class is he even gonna go into? There's probably nothing, right, that he really wants. Oh, so, didn't we say we were like thinking about War Master form at some point, actually? We were, but like, like unironically. We were. But then it we so uh, that's a long way out, but the thing is is like if we're saying like he doesn't need more authority, he doesn't need more sword, he doesn't need more bow. Like mm -hmm. why not? Right. Yeah, like why not just click the axe brawl and like let it cook for i don't know seven chapters Forever, or something yeah i do think yeah. if, i do think if we're letting something cook for a long while it is better to just have two things in mind when i get on him so yeah. like that gets you more total weapon experience it makes no sense to do solo authority and later do solo axes or whatever so yeah, yeah that's why i want to do two things i think and i suppose we can just see if it ever happens sure axes sure yeah i think brawl. at the very start we were considering that and i i think this is a fine time like 
it's actually rather far out. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably get like the ranks before we get 30. Sure. Level 30, rather. Let it roll. Group task seems to be good the way it was, so let's just let it rip. Yes, I liked it. Oh, oh. Holiday, meal, or choir? Oh, no. Nice. It is time. Oh, this is over. It's already over. I bribed Manuela with a million hunting daggers. <laughs> no. Time. That's all, folks. Short ball. Splendid. All three of you were fantastic. <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my. <gasps> let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for the Blue Lion. Hey. Hey. Performance was exhilarating. The large bullion will be coming your way. I think this drum roll is like somewhere in the sound room, by the way. What the hell? <laughs> the way you I think so. What the hell? What the heck, Shamir? Great Forgot to bribe her. Both of you. I know. Uh, let's see. Factoring in She's like, you haven't been giving me X training. Opinion. Yes. We have a winner, and I will announce who it is right now, without <laughs> any delay. The winner of this year's White Heron Cup is the Blue Lion. Yay, she beat the Golden Deer House. <laughs> there is a prize, right? Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. We did it! Yay! Yay! For the dancer class, the Sword of Void 20, holy. Finally, some good classes. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Might as well. Oh, it's the B support. Professor, a pleasure to see you. I was here for confessional. I mean, let's be the B support. Okay. Yeah, apparently. Sure thing. Oh, no, the C support is you just like show up outside a room and yeah. she's like drunk or something. It's true. Oh, Dimitri T. Oh, gotta, 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 right? I mean, gotta. surely. He likes like everything, but I think there's like, this is the, his most liked one, I think. Can uh, I Yeah, that's actually his only liked one. Oh. Uh, so it is his most liked oh, one, actually. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> this smells good. I wonder how it tastes. Bro has no taste. Thank that you. chamomile. I mean, we already knew that because look at how he's dressed, but. Well, you put him in that outfit, dude. Shh. How warm and comforting. Playing Barbie dolls over here, okay. So it is. Uh, I'll, I'll, Surely it's all of them. Uh, <laughs> all of them? A new gambit. A new gambit. Wow. Should have known. Yeah. Hopes for your future is actually not on there. Hmm. So it is. So it is. Uh, Someone you look up to? Really? Who does he look up to? To do? Uh, sure. I mean, he's taller than. Me, <laughs> so it is. Uh. S -s -s strong battalion? I don't know. A strong battalion, yes. Indeed. 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 Oh, plushing. When I feel down, I go out for a long ride on my own. There is no place more relaxing than a trusted steed's back. Nod. Nod. <laughs> the brotherhood of I don't know. Whatever. Very impactful conversation right now. Uh yeah, he's cool. exhausted right now. So we can oh, true. gift him. It doesn't matter because we're probably going to explore before it matters, but. True, true. But I guess that means we, uh. uh -huh. I don't know. Maybe it matters. Uh huh. Um. I mean, I could always do the owl fetter, but do I have anything that he likes? If you're lazy, the, um. Whetstone? Whetstone, maybe? That's a guess. Sure. Oh, he does appreciate Oh, that. we're so good. Easy whetstones. We know Dimitri so well. Dude. He doesn't know that they taste bad, so he likes them. <laughs> Please do not eat the whetstones. <laughs> hey. Oh, I didn't get Charm myself. Did I? Oh, I think we've already done the two tea times. Bernie and who else? What Probably some other guy it's at Bernie, the end of the chapter. Likely. I mean, well, obviously, it has to be somebody, right? Yeah. Like, I can do better. Could be some other girl. I more, I suppose, oh, true, working. true. 
He said it, Flamler and Smash. Whoa. Whoa. Monka S. Oh yeah, someone's birthday on the first. I appreciate your Eloises. Hey, my renown. Just okay. in time. We gotta, right? we gotta spend that at some point. Okay. Uh, I guess we reclass Hilda to Dancer just to see what it's like. Sure, sure. Actually, before we should do unit reviews before we reclass her. That's, that makes more sense. True, true. Uh, so, the paralog choice. We have a bazillion to choose from for the first one. We're probably going to do two this date, too. This one we wanted to do for the Divine Pulse and the Knowledge Gem, and I think we're kind of set up to do it well anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, this one, we can probably always like warp skip slash like stride skip this one pretty easily with a full survival this is like an easy one we can always do um mm -hmm. this is an option for the plus one move item the what did they call in this game swift soul boots yeah for the boots yeah yeah the shoes of the wind I think. yes um there we go maybe uh, maybe that's the plus two move one there's a plus two move item that you can find under the bed but oh yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's plus move yes yeah the thing we're not doing mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh waiting on this one I think this one can be like it's really easy to do. Like it mm -hmm. doesn't have any kind of pressure or whatever. Uh, the reward is kind of insignificant right now, I think, because we don't have any A rank units. So we can probably let it wait. Although the actually the 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 spears, oh the spear is A rank, right? So we don't really can't really use it. No. Yeah, the spear of Shawl is also A rank lances. Yeah. The Caduceus is you know anybody can use it. But... Mm -hmm. True. What's it do again? Uh, plus one range and self healing. Oh, okay. But plus one range on like physics and stuff, right? Uh, no, no, on attack spells. It's like mini thirsts. Oh, okay, interesting. So I guess it's like if I'm too lazy to look for the thirsts, I can always use that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can have them both, you <laughs> yeah. know. I don't know. Like, uh -huh. there's no reason to not have mm -hmm. it on some people. This one's really good, I think. Experience gem. Get people closer to twenty real quick. Yeah, yeah. Experience gem. Second copy of rapier. Very yeah. good. Very good. Very good. I thought I like that one. This one we're gonna wait, and these ones we can probably wait until everyone is in advanced classes because they're pretty. Tough. I don't know if she. Yeah, yeah. A Cursed Relic, I think we could actually do, like, pretty soon. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe even after this. We do get the Fetters, which is, like, excellent. Yeah, true. Uh, I, just, I just like Fetters, so... Same. The sooner we get that, the better. Yeah, extra Kanto is always nice. And it's plus one move as well, right? Like, it's a March Ring plus Kanto item. Yeah, yeah. Broken. Um, I'm feeling Tales of Red Canyon into... Uh, oil and Water, personally. Although, I, I would be open to doing a Cursed Relic at some point. That's that sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I definitely think Tales of the Red Canyon first, you know, mm -hmm. and then we can we can debate later mm -hmm. if there's a better one. Yeah. Oh, we have a mini map. Turns out. <gasps> you can open the mini map? What yeah. is this? Real time strategy game? I, I know, know, right? Hmm. Oh, I... Glad it's stuck in her head. If we're just chilling in the spirit dais, yeah, yeah. where only we can visit. Yes. Makes me wonder, does she ever just like go here to hang out or something? Like I don't know. It is most yes. Yes. Just like vent to sew this about how stupid the students are being or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god, Felix said today was so fucking dumb. I know. And that blew up the kitchen again. <laughs> Damn it! Can't believe it. So this is like you can't just divine pulse back all your bad lectures. <laughs> All right, you didn't do a good enough job on your homework. Divine Pulse, do it again. No! <laughs> okay, so she's over here, but she'll be fine, because she can fly now. Uh, we'll go over to battle itself later, but right now, I just want to get Hilda and friends on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three Agitons, look at that. Let's get them. We got Hilda and Cyril. Yep. The oh, if there's pair. a third one one took root, we just totally forgot. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I mean, with Leone, we were putting off, right? That's it. Like, who else yeah, could yeah, we yeah. have recruited? I don't think there was anyone. Uh, like, like, Sith, like Sith here? I don't know, maybe. Even, I don't even think we could have, because we need, like, faith for that or so. Yeah, that, I don't have support with Sith yet. Like, I didn't bother with any magical recruits at all, because we had yeah, so constant and happy. True. All right. Uh, I guess we can talk about Hilda as, like, a non-dancer first. It's like, that's why I have her stats on, like, this before we reclass her. Because mm -hmm. we kind of went over why she's a good candidate for dancer for us specifically. I never think of her as like, a unit, oh, I'm just going to turn her into my dancer. Because I do think she's legit good as a yeah. unit herself. But mostly in Golden Deer in-house or as like an early recruit. But it's kind of hard to recruit her early because of the like unreasonably high charm and axe requirement that she needs. So realistically, she's going to join you either later or as Golden Deer. And in Golden Deer, I think like her attack power is insane. And she just does a lot of damage. And if you can get her to double, then she just 
kind of kills everything. Uh, having an axe boon and high axe rank just kind of opens her up to a reasonably easy wyvern qualification. And that kind of works well with Advocate for having a chase in the Unisys do three extra damage for basically free because of how easy it is to position her. So I think she's kind of nice. I do really, after messing around with Warhammer Battalions, I do really hate Authority Banes, especially if they start at E rank and it just takes forever to get up. Like, I can manage having one in my army in Felix because I can just give him my best low rank battalions, but you don't really get that many of those. And especially if you're a Jamer creator like Raisins, like, you, you're probably going to be kind of annoyed at an Authority Boon. That's kind of the way I see Hilda as a combo. It's like good in in house and good stats for out of house, like high strength and reasonably high speed. But you know, some limitations that make her like a little bit more annoying to use than some others, like I don't know, uh, Felix, Dimitri, Byleth, stuff like that. Like I think she's kind of like a great below that, but still really good. That's my take on her. Any any additions, disagreements, etc. Yeah, yeah. The the whole authority bane thing is like it's it kind of adds a big upfront cost to using Hilda. Um, especially, I mean, if we look at the ranks, at the very least, her ranks are like pretty good at, you know, kind of getting into the two best intermediate classes for her, which are, you know, either going to be Brigand or Pegasus. Like, she's already here in Brigand. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, the whole auto leveling axe for Lansing is actually like pretty helpful for her development, but then there's this additional upfront cost of authority. Um, so, it's actually kind of easy ish to get her activated because uh, she can just kind of be like Brigand on the ground in the meantime. And it's like, her, her stats aren't super good because I think enemy brigand class growths, as you can see, aren't like the best, but they're fine. Like 23 strength is something you can work with during this time. It's like totally fine. Uh, but then after like you get the authority to D, which would just take a couple chapters, then then she's like really like off and she, she's really moving from that point on. So I think the activation cost is totally fine. And then, yeah, you have a unit who has very good growths and, you know, strength speed. And so it just makes for a good offensive unit, like HP strength speed. So it just makes her a very good offensive unit here. So I do actually really like that about her. She is kind of one of these people who sort of relies on her growths to have super good performance. Uh, she has Battalion Wrath at sea, which takes a while for her to get to. But that's basically her only like, you know, punch above her weight class type of thing. I think ordinarily she's kind of looking to just get a lot of strength growth and a lot of speed growth, which is something she can get even as an adjutant. And there have actually been a lot of times where Hilda, like, I just forgot about her at level 8 or something, and then I signed her as adjutant to Claude, and then later on she just jump scared me with having some of the best stats in my army. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very typical progression for Hilda, is, like, definitely rel relying on her growth. So, even if you dismiss her earlier, or even if you just use her as an adjutant early, do keep an eye on her growth, because it is always possible that she just develops into something with good stats anyway. That's always a huge possibility with Hilda. Do you ever bother with the heavy armor hidden talent to get like a uh, armor knight qualification or anything for like that? For seal speed? Actually, you know, sometimes I do um, because Lance Rank, she does have Shatter Slash and then so with Shatter Slash, seal speed, that's like a pretty good monster killing combo. It's kind of a shame that we were going into like basically the monster map. So <laughs> if we were to have it, it would be for here. <laughs> but, you know, it, it, this is actually a map where I don't actually mind like uh, sh Shatter Slash, seal speed. I think there was one run I did where I had some like silly like Pegasus Knight Hilda who was like dismounted using Fading Blow with gauntlets to apply seal speed. It was like kind of trash, but you know, it worked. Uh -huh. Like I, I actually kind of like the heavy armor budding talent. I think it's useful. For one, I think weight minus three is just good. Yeah. So yeah, I, I almost always get it. I was more asking in terms of like using it for uh, certification purposes and uh, minimum stats, but I do appreciate oh. status as well sometimes. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's kind of hard for me to see because we're like, we're past all those numbers anyway, but I guess in-house yeah probably mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I would use it in-house for sure Fair. uh i guess i'll reclass her because i need to show up what she looks like yeah we uh, do want to dance her do so. want to dance her here you go i better tell my brother about this <laughs> no please <Wow>. don't <laughs> no <laughs> no hilda what are you doing oh that she looks not gorgeous holes. that's so good right there you go oh, i can't do in yet i love the axe dancer yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> she looks so cool. Okay. We have our, our Barbie doll, I guess. Oh, she's a battalion before I forget. Um, yeah, and Jay Merck's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. probably. Uh, oh, cool. Wrong menu. Yeah, wrong menu. Found it. There you go. And we have a battalion. I mean, I guess in a in a in an emergency she can gambit someone. That is something that she can do. Mm-hmm. Kind of nice. 23 charm is a lot. It's probably the highest in your yeah. army, actually, besides, like, the really battalion champions. It's higher than Dimitri's. Actually, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. 
good unit. I, out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually thought that recruiting Hilda at this time, even if we didn't make her dance, would be kind of optimal because I do feel that army is like at times a little bit lacking in like straight up gambit power. This is more applicable to like right before this because now we have Byleth able to use better battalions uh, or rather we have more flying battalions that Byleth can use than a couple chapters ago. So it's less of a problem. Before when Byleth was running around with like recovery roar, <laughs> it was yeah. kind of like um, I can gambit with Dimitri and Yuri if he's deployed, but if he's not deployed, then all these people have like no charm to speak of. Yeah, they have like nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anyway, we're done with Hilda, right? We can just do the, the, the surreal. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the uh, armor budding talent because I actually totally forgot I use that all the time in house. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of talents, I, I need to get that other screen for him because he's got a big talent in ranks. Where's that shit? And everything, yeah. And the, and the inventory menu. Yeah, I guess it's only here. Cringe. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, so there we go. Cyril, if you recruit him like chapter, I think five or six, it's like the earliest you can do it. And then you can kind of turn him into someone that can do a lot of different things reasonably quickly, especially for an out of house unit. Uh, he's like the boons and lances, axes, bows, riding, and flying are just hilariously optimized for a growth unit. And an aptitude, like his growths aren't very good, even with the aptitude skill, but who cares? It's still good mm -hmm. enough to get where he wants to be in conjunction with like the classes he can certify for. And then he has Hunter's Volley reasonably early, or what's it called? Uh, point, uh, blank point, point Blank Volley? Point Blank Volley. Yeah. yeah, Point Blank. I think you can get that within like one month of recruiting him if you want to. And then he just shoots everyone. And I mean, I don't. he probably doesn't want on every single enemy ever, but you can definitely make it work when you have a Brave skill that early. And he also gets Vengeance. It's just, he's insane. I think his only main drawback is that he can't be deployed on seven uh, ground field battle. But other than that, like I feel like you can do almost the same things at this point as like to do or burn that I could with like a couple key differences. He doesn't have a crest, so you can like give him a relic, like the Luin or something, and he just hurts himself over combat to make a stronger vengeance, which is another funny thing you can do. So I think if you get an earlier serial, you can definitely make him work in a lot of different classes like Wyvern and Paladin. He's just like kind of good. But we kind of recruited him a little bit late, and now he's more of a flunky kind of guy that we're probably not deploying a whole lot more than like one or two more times. But, you know, yeah, in a different universe, we could have made it work. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that we put him off in such a way, because uh, if you recruit him in, you know, Chapter 5 or Chapter 6 or even Chapter 8, uh, yeah, you can get his point blank volley straight away, and he just thumps everything that he touches with that. Like, you give him a Steel Bow Plus, you give him a Saros Mercenaries, and he just, like, he literally just one-shots everything. Actually, well, I guess, like, two shots, but, you know, the point blank volley makes him attack twice. So, yeah, guys, you know what I mean. Uh, that, that's the point. And then, yeah, his boons are just excellent for basically anything he wants to do you know in the late game in the mid game anything really so this guy really do kind of want to get him early just go ahead and get that get that ball rolling you know pick him in a chapter when his bases are very well suited to the chapter again like chapter five or chapter six either of those are pretty good uh here you know we got him kind of late when we're looking at him and like yeah he can develop into something really good yeah he can have vengeance a bunch above his weight class you know yeah we can have point blank volley to you know kind of meet some threshold or we can like deploy any of our units who have like plus 10 all stats over him which i think is like three and just use them <laughs> instead right so like we, like we look at felix or we look at yuri or we look at shimura byleth and they just have like a shimillion stats over this guy i don't really yeah is really that because uh commoner has like really bad class growth and he levels as one uh that's like kind of part to do with it i mean a lot of the units i was talking about and referring to are just people who got good growths right mm -hmm. is the thing so that's just kind of what happened. I think by now in the run through, you should have like found a couple people who have leveled above curve and like be leaning into them. Uh, whereas if we got gotten Cyril in chapter five, like Cyril might have been that guy, <laughs> I think. He could have been in another yeah. timeline. Yeah. A, a word on aptitude real quick is it is plus 20 all growths. The end result is he ends up with like pretty similar growths to Hilda overall. Mm -hmm. He ends up at like basically that kind of like strength and speed and HP. Yeah. It's it's like he doesn't have a personal skill, but then so neither does Raphael, for example. So who cares? Yeah, Judging yeah. based on the rest of his things. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's just that's just the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he's pretty good. Like I actually think you know with the growths he does end up very good. With the boons he does end up very good. Uh, I think in another playthrough we could have like got Cyril and just been owning everything with Cyril for you know the past three chapters and been here and he's like insane, but we didn't do that. On Fortnite. It is what it is. I can't use every unit in three houses. I mean, I can. It would be a lot more work. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I find it hard to uh, bench someone I've been using all the way through, especially if they get growth like Felix did and like Hilda did and like, uh, well, not Hilda, um, Ingrid did. 
Yeah, yeah. So tragic, but in another timeline, it would have been really good. Well, we managed to waste another one and a half hour of your life optimizing three what? houses. Okay, we waste. To, nah, they we, joined we got it. to they optimize three houses in one and a half hour. So that's right. Next time we'll be playing the Sothis Paralog, and the time after that we'll be playing one of the other Paralogs. And then it's going to be time for Chapter 9 with another bunch of uh, monsters. So I'm just saying, we have Happy. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. That's true. But that'll be next time. See you then. Yep. Bye. See you then.